Hello, my name is Natasha. I am a school teacher. I was an asymptomatic patient. I can't say that I am a COVID survivor, but uh, rather a patient who has recovered from COVID-19. There was news of the virus infecting thousands across the world, but I never thought it would be me or anyone close to me who would be infected. And our first reaction was to laugh, but then reality hit in. And during this period, uh, I developed a kind of uh, a symptom which is more like a cold. Uh, when, you, uh, when you get a cold, it's like you have a problem with your throat in swallowing or something. So that was the only symptom I had and nothing else besides that. I was not afraid or scared, but some days I would feel slightly down than the others. There were a few things which helped me during this time. And the first thing I would like to mention is that I tried to maintain a kind of routine for myself which started with breakfast and then made my own bed, clean my little surrounding in the room and have a bath. Then I would wash my clothes, talk on the phone, then read novels and then watch some films and series. I would do normal activity. Another thing which really helped me was that family members and friends kept on checking up on me and a would have video call etc was always made uh, because i was i kept on testing positive i was never scared or anxious i think seven to eight swab tests were taken and after that time my only concern was my family especially with the members who are over 70. they were having a tough time at home because the moment i was tested positive they had been in isolation as well and, uh, and so as per protocol my family members lived in separate rooms with minimum interaction and food etc was being served by my other relatives and friends who would pack them in disposables and give them their meals so I was concerned for my family and then the things I would like to encourage people is that uh, or my message rather to the people is that one should keep your mind occupied and body active and by cleaning, washing, etc., talking to friends, then listening to music, watching movies, and not by sitting idly. Another thing which had really helped me was prayers. I would pray by myself, I would pray with my friends and family members as well. And I was not afraid, but I tried to remain calm through it all, taking one day at a time. I think that really helps. And if you let fear overtake you, then it's risky because it's risky because only of it's risky because you think only of the bad things and get anxious about what is going to happen. Uh, as a responsible citizen, we must support the system that is working for us, running away will not help as they are the ones that will be there for us. And another point I would like to say is that hats off to the doctors and nurses who are working day in and night despite fears surrounding COVID-19. They are doing a wonderful job. And uh, just avoid watching, reading or listening to news that could uh, make you feel anxious, worried or distressed. Just relax and stay calm, avoid rumours and rely only on trusted news sources uh, to be at society and to protect your mental health during this crisis of COVID-19. So by doing the following things, I think we will all be able to overcome COVID-19.